very warm welcome to Rust Hall Football Club for Five Oak Green against Kensing United Reserves in the Seven Oaks and District Football League Smiths Intermediate League Cup Final. Five Oak Green in the blue shirts and the white shorts are an informed team at the moment. They've won their last three games, 9-0, 4-1 and 7-0. In contrast, Kemsing United Reserves have lost their last three. They do reside together in Division 2. Top of the table, unbeaten Five Oak Green. Seven points behind them in sixth are Kemsing United Reserves. Let's take a quick check on the two lineups. Five Oak Green are managed by Dave Perry, Dan Taylor and Dan Matthews. Kemsing United Reserves in the green shirts and the black shorts. Their management team, Dave Wood, Paul Martin and Clive Leatherby. Tonight's referee is Paul Parsons. He's assisted by Nigel Eggleton and Carl Heather. Andy King is the fourth official. Number eight, Jay Throw down the line, cleared away. Jack Marizu. Aaron Champion hoists it high up the field. It's one to chase. And the goalkeeper's been caught out and it's gone in. Oh, what a bizarre goal after just seven minutes of this game. And the underdog score with a cracker from inside his own half from Aaron Champion. Well, the goalkeeper wasn't expecting it. Champion hoisted it long downfield and it bobbled over the top of Edwards and into the net. First time he could not have struck it any better it turns out in the end. The goalkeeper certainly wasn't ready for it. 1-0. Oh, As you can see from here, the goalkeeper is ever ready for those sorts of efforts on goal. Taken down the line by Keenan Grundy. It's called towards goal by Ryan Smith. It's going to be a corner. Defending in numbers. Kemsing. Cleared out. This is Ryan Holden. And that's a smashing strike to make it 1 0. Right into the top corner from Ryan Holden. And the top scorer gets. Five Oak Green back on level terms. It's a very well struck goal as well. And the corner is only partially cleared. He's got acres of time to control it. And his right foot shot is right on the money. Picked his spot. Right on the top corner. No chance at all for Dan Brown in the Kemsing goal. and a curling effort that came off the outside of the post. It was Jake Fairweather that hit it. Had the goalkeeper stranded. Clearance upfield, flicked on. There could be a chance here. Saved, it was Ryan Holden, almost made it 2-1. And then the shot coming in from Jake Fairweather, which is just wide. This is already turning into an open and entertaining game. Ben Hafford. Down the right-hand side. Hafford gets a cross in. Plenty of time and space for Jack Loizou to clear. To the midfield area for Chris Ralph. The ball looping over the top. Could be a chance. Just the wrong side of the post. Really wasn't very far away at all. Still on one. Kenton coming forward. Shot from distance but good defending by Kane Walker launches it long downfield this could be a breakaway opportunity up towards Holden Holden gets away this is Ryan Holden he's already got one goal it came off the hand of the goalkeeper saved by Dan Brown that could easily have been 2-1 long ball upfield Support. Support came in the shape of Aaron Champion. He's got, he's got some ground to make up here. James Dunn coming inside. Still James Dunn. Can he get the shot away? Oh, he can! What a brilliant goal from James Dunn. Behind at 1-0. They lead by 2-1. And 5 Oak Green turn this cup final on its head. Three goals in the opening 24 minutes. 
three fine goals. He's got time and space. James Dunn cuts inside. Well, he averages nearly a goal a game from midfield, and we're finishing like that. There's little wonder. He's just gone and rattled that one into the bottom corner, and Five Oak Green lead by two goals to one. It's another ball down the line. It's menacing. It's fair weather. Come through on the right-hand side for Ryan Holden. Little step over, gets the ball back in again. Cleared away by Champion, and then the shot coming in. Oh, that's a slip, this could be danger. It could be three, it is. Jake Fairweather snaps up on some sloppy defending and puts five Oak Green in a firm position in this final. They lead by 3-1. Kemsin just didn't clear their lines and Fairweather snuck in and punished them with a clinical finish one-on-one. -on -one. Half an hour gone and the unbeaten Division Two leaders have a healthy lead in this final. He's down the left-hand side. In comes across, it's Lowell who just tucks it into the net and it's 3-2. And they aren't out of this one yet, Kemsing United Reserves. Ola Lowell didn't have to go for power, he just needed to place it. He got there first ahead of the defender Dan Baker and placed it past Paul Edwards and into the open net. It's 3-2. Taken by James Dunn, it's on target, it's saved well by Dan Brown, it's another corner. It's going to be a long throw in towards that six yard box. And the header is in from Ola Lowell, it's his second. And Kemsing United find themselves back on level terms again. Well the long throw wasn't properly dealt with by Five Oak Green. It's just launched into the roof of the net, a simple header really for Ola Lowell, who goes off and celebrates with the bench. Comes the corner, give away, six goals in the first half are evenly shared out, what's the second half got to offer? Ball in! And headed wide when he really should have scored, Keelan Grundy. And it goes, it's headed forwards quickly by Jack Loizu, and the shot is wide. A strong start to the second half, and for five Oak Green, nothing to profit from that corner. It could be a breakaway for Kemsey. Ben Hafford has it inside, switch to the right by Zach Clark. You're up here. That's a great ball by Lowell. This could be 4-3 and it hits the post and you don't come much closer than that. Oak Green get that ball into the box. Headed away, only partially headed away and that's a foul and that is a penalty, says the referee. Midway through the second half. Could be a game changer. George Robinson saved by Dan Brown. The referee and his assistant have decided that this is going to be retaken. This time it's Ross Billiard that's going to take it. It was a good save, but was he off his line? Ross Billiard this time takes responsibility, sends the goalkeeper the wrong way and puts it right into the corner. And it's advantage, 5 Oak Green once again. 4-3, good penalty. Oh, hoist upfield from Paul Edwards. 
This is a chance to make it five. The shot ends up going well wide. Are the underdogs and they are trailing, but they're still within sight. Can they get back into this cup final? Very congested at the edge of the penalty area. And the shot coming in. It's spilt by the goalkeeper who gets there just in time. It was a shot by Ola Lawa, who's on a hat trick. Riding right. Key conditions, but these two sides have served up a very entertaining final so far. Kenting dig out from here. Frustration setting in on Zach Clark, who seems to have thrown the ball at an opponent. He's afraid a few tempers. Kenting's captain is quickly told by a teammate to calm down. Peacemaker being Mike Burgess. It doesn't prevent Zach Clark from being cautioned by the referee. Five oak great. Played on by Holden. And the finish requires a save from Dan Brown. Ball forward and committing themselves forward here, Kemsing. They could be in trouble. Cross comes in. Holden. Can't get hold of it. Under way by Martin Cooley. Held up well by Ola Lowell. Up to the right-hand side. Lowell's continued his run down the middle. Here goes Lowell. This could be a big moment in the game. Lowell around the goalkeeper and into the empty net. And it's 4-4. A game that just keeps on giving. Has produced its first hat-trick. And it's come in the shape of a hat-trick for Ola Lowell. Well, he started this move on the halfway line. And he went for the return, and the ball that was played through to him was inch perfect. And Lowell did the rest. Ball in the net, the player almost sliding into the net as well. Four apiece, a late, late equaliser that's going to force extra time, surely. All the way to the far side, there is that final whistle. Extra time required. Back inside was Jack Clark. And a long ball over the top and Ola Lowell is away. Lowell with the cross. Can he finish? Yes, he can. Martin Cooley makes it 5-4 to Kemsing. When well, they led early on in the first half of normal time. And then they trailed 3-1. They got back to 3-3 and then they had to come back from 4-3 down. But they now lead by five goals to four. It seemed to take an eternity to come to Martin Cooley, but he kept his cool. Captain coming forward once again. It's a weaving, jinking run from Jack Clark. And it goes through all the way to Martin Cooley, who's taken the goalkeeper out of the equation and popped it into the empty net. And they now lead by six goals to four. Martin Cooley with two extra time goals to hand the initiative to Kemsing United Reserves. He was just on side. Goalkeeper comes flying out, sidesteps him, and he's cool enough again to put the ball in the net. To the penalty area, it's flicked on. Cleared away, up in the air at least. Comes down for James Dunn. He can't clear it away. It's a shot from distance and it's gone in. It's Zach Clark that makes it 7 4. Zach Clark hit it. It seemed like a handball. Referee didn't see it. He says play on. Zach Clark with a shot and it stings the palms of the goalkeeper, but on a slippy night, it went through those palms and in. Three goals in the first half of extra time and Kemsing in real control in the driving rate. Oh, 
Oh, Oak Gray need a goal and they need one quick and going down in the penalty area. Well, they've got their goal. Going down in the penalty area was Ryan Holden. But Jake Fairweather followed up and put the ball in the roof of the net. It's 7-5 and maybe, just maybe, this game has another twist. And my goodness me, it's had enough twists tonight. Play. There is the final whistle. It's victory for Kemsing United Reserves. The underdogs in this final have seen off Five Oak Green by seven goals to five after extra time in an exhilarating cup final. Runners up medals being presented to Five Oak Green. The presentation of the trophy is being made by Katie Wiley tonight. Well, they are on course to win the title. They could win it unbeaten, but they've been beaten tonight, Five Oak Green. Do well to find a better cup final this season than this one. At 3-1, you felt they were going to run away with it. It wasn't to be. And the team in green have shown plenty of character tonight in tricky conditions. Come back and win. Getting two clear goals in the end. Picking up their winners' medals. Just on penalties. Just three days ago against Roselands in the Seven Oaks Charity Cup, and they must have been thinking that penalties was on the horizon with extra time. But they didn't need penalties tonight. Got their shooting boots on in the first period of extra time. There's medals all around for Kemsing United Reserves. And for their captain, Zach Clark. He's got his hands on the trophy. Congratulations, Kemsing United Reserves, who have won the Seven Oakton District Football League Smiths Intermediate League Cup final in dramatic style.